Welcome to Raven Silver. Please subscribe to my channel, also the notification bell, and like this video and share. Welcome to another edition of She Speaks 6, where I share a conversation with transgender women that try to help our sisters in their struggle and their transition and try to fight to help keep our sisters out of the grave. Share this video, like this video, every way you can, and help us keep our sisters from being murdered. Like this video, and here is another girl that want to share her journey and what she's been through. I created help this channel for people with different things to support, to support you. There's a PayPal on top. People murder. There are a lot of times people can't send in the truth, but you find one that does support them. Make Allies. sure they do not fall within a, a smart community as not being in existence. And you know Music. that there are hard to find people that create a channel that cater to people who are different and send in the truth. Vision and the allies sit back and say, well, I have no problem with other people. PayPal. Let me just stand in here and learn to support and learn. those no judgment who support zone. you. I love you. Stay in your All truth. right now. Now, welcome to another edition of She Speaks, where our two spirit sisters are tired of the girls being murdered and she's trying to help the girls along the way to try to keep our sisters out the grave. She decided she wanted to come on YouTube on the recorded line to share ways of her experience and sometimes compare to help the sisters behind the scenes that could basically get, you know, a life and pull from it and their transition say, well, hey, that's like me. She's like me. And she wanted to share her story. Welcome our fifth girl her, from to She Speaks. Hey, sis. Hey, how you doing, girl? <laughs> All right. Okay, let me ask you a few questions. Okay. When did, you, when did you know you was a woman? I knew I was a woman when I was Actually, it was two years old, but I didn't understand what it was until I got to be 12, 13. 13 is when I finally figured out what it was. And I knew that I was really a woman then. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you on hormones? Yes, I am on hormones. Mm -hmm. I'm on three different hormones. I could list, I could tell you what they are if you want. No, if you want to. Oh. Just, you know, progesterone, spirulitone, um, estradiol. That's it. Okay. You know. So let me. I'm in my shop now and then. So, yeah. All good. Okay. Do you feel, in order to be a two spirit woman, she has to be on hormones? Um, it's in your heart, your mind, and your soul. It always will be there. But I think hormones enhances your body and it enhances yourself. And I also think it'll also give you a clear conscience and make you feel better about yourself. Mm -hmm. That's what okay. I think. Okay. Are okay. you full time? Yes, I am. I've been full time for um, 10 years. Okay. Since you transitioned, tell me the things you love about being a two spirit. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of things that are wonderful. It's like the, the thing I really love is that I feel comfortable in my own body. Mm -hmm. I feel comfortable in my own skin. I feel like I'm a full person, full of emotions, full of feelings. Um, I don't. I feel like I can. My thought processes are better. Um, I feel good. I think that, you know, it really gives you a sense of confidence is what I feel, is what I have a lot more now than I ever did before. Right. Before I turned. Yeah. Now, so, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what bothers you about being a trans in a woman that you didn't know since you transitioned? Okay, constant mood swings, number one. But the other thing is, okay. is um, I can't stand uh, the transphobia. I okay. can't stand ignorance. I can't stand um, the fighting amongst our community. Mm -hmm. I can't stand when, when we're all fighting against each other. I think we should unite or have respect. I mean, most of us do, but there's some bad. There's some good and bad and all. But um, also, too, sometimes it's just, I find I can be more sluggish than it used to be. It takes me longer to get out of the house, but I mean, and it's also as far as like medically, it can be sometimes it can be overwhelming, you know, because it's just really, it's your mood switch. Your moods can change a lot, That's you know, true. but the great, but you feel a lot, you know, That's so. True. Okay. Mm -hmm. So have you lost family members since you transitioned? Uh, 
the most part, my immediate family has been very supportive. Mm -hmm. My mother still won't acknowledge that much of who I am, okay. but she does accept it. But she won't call me by my, my name, and she won't call me, she won't really, um, she's not as, she's not as warm as she doesn't still understand the deal a little bit, but everyone else in my family has been very supportive mm -hmm. and very loving and um, very accepting, and they always then, they've even said they always knew something. So, you know. That's awesome. Yeah. That you got them, but you know, you have to give your mother a chance, I guess, since you're coming around. The thing is, yeah. how about jobs? Have you had a problem finding jobs? Oh my gosh, that's like, yeah. <laughs> Oh, have I ever had problems finding jobs? Every time I've gone for an interview, I've had the the person that that interviews me makes up excuses and lies. When the first fact they see your, they see my resume and you go in and they look at it and they go, hey, "This is great. We can hire someone like you." And then you go in the office and then they look you up and down and go, oh, "We're not hiring." So I have wow. dealt with some discrimin a lot of discrimination. And, you know, um, so it's, it's a little, yeah, it's tough. It really is tough. But That's just, true. you have to just keep looking. But yep. I've had a lot of it. So, and I'm not really working anymore anyway, so, okay. when I was looking. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, it is a struggle. It also going to hurt your feelings a lot. So, let me ask you a fun question. Okay. Do you prefer natural hair or wigs? tell you the truth, I do love my natural hair since I've been a hormone, it's a lot curlier and it's a lot fuller uh -huh. and all that, but I do love wearing wigs too because wigs can be so much fun. Yes. They, they could be exciting, enticing, you could tease them, you can play with them, mm -hmm. you know, and for a lot of reasons when you wear wigs it brings out different, different aspects of yourself, <laughs> depending on the wig, but it, they are wonderful. But I just like my own natural hair because my own natural hair has become very full, it used to be fine. Right. And now, now it's wavy and curly. So and that's now natural. So just like my sister and my niece. Oh, okay. <laughs> and my aunt. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, here's a more serious question: A girl who hasn't transit, who can't, and can't transition because she can't and she wants to and she's killing her inside because in some countries and stuff she could be murdered and killed and she struggles in her transition she's looking at you as a role model because she watches you and she admires you but she doesn't quite know all the things that comes with you as far as being a two-spirit woman what kind of advice would you give with to her in her transition that will help her along the way first of all when you're ready to come out you come out don't put pressure on yourself. Don't be upset with yourself. Don't get angry. Take little baby steps. It's a process. Mm -hmm. So just don't kill yourself and get angry at yourself or be frustrated because you can't do it. It is hard. It is difficult. Mm -hmm. But what I would say to you is that you want to transition, you make the steps. And don't worry about what anyone else thinks because after a while you're not going to care. You're not going to care what other people think. You're only going to do what's good for your heart. Now, it's a very hard life. You definitely have to look. You definitely have got to be prepared. You've got to look over your shoulder when you're going out because there's a possibility that there's assault and violence, but that happens, and it's not, It's an awful thing. It's terrible that our sisters are getting murdered out of, from transphobia, mm -hmm. and it's off. But the thing is, is that don't let that be a deterrent to you. Don't let don't let fear take over, because who you are spiritually inside is who you're going to be on the outside, and it's just you know just don't let anyone or anybody intimidate you, and take your time. You're going to find your niche. You're going to find your style. You're going to find out the person and who you are, and you're going to discover great things about yourself that you never knew okay. about how you were before, and it is exhilarating. It is exhilarating. It's wonderful. It's awesome. So, you know, and just be confident. Be strong. There's going to be peaks and valleys, but you know, just, just you be you be you you be you. Don't let anybody take that away from you. You know, and never let anything with two. You know, let me get this right. Never let 
anybody or any, you know what, forget it, I can't say it right, I was going to do this little uh, metaphor, this little anecdote or whatever, but I'm right. like, yeah, you know, so, anyway, but don't give up, don't give in, be you, and just take your time, and eventually you'll look at yourself and go, wow, did I do that? Whoa, you know? So let me ask you something off of that same question. How okay. would, what would you do tell her if in her country, if she transitions, she'll be murdered? What do you tell her? If she has a chance of being in her country, if she has a chance of being murdered? No, she will be murdered. Oh, get out of there. Find a way to get out if you can. Okay. You know, it's horrible. Yeah. Get your ass out. Oh, excuse me. Get yourself <laughs> out of there. Get out. That's, don't live in a country like that because it's very scary. And it's very, you don't know what's going to happen. And you don't deserve that. You know, you don't deserve, none of us deserve to be murdered or die, or die in any, at the hands of any transphobic person, or human being, whatever. The reason why I asked you that, because girls have hit me up, that's on that note. So thank you for that answer. That also, oh, you're welcome. It's my pleasure. Thanks. The next question is going to be, are you happy in your transition? Um, yes and no. I have really hard days. Um, I, be, I can get really depressed a lot. But I, but as far as being happy with myself, I love it. I absolutely think that I feel better as a person. I feel better as a woman. I feel, um, I feel as I've said, a full person. I feel like I, you know, I can be me. I like being, you know, I like how my body looks. Uh -huh. I like having curves. I like having, you know, breasts. I like, um, I plan to get, you know, surgery, well, eventually. And so, and I just, and I, yeah, I would say it's really wonderful. You feel, you know, it's just, it's a hard life because of society. It's not a hard life You're because right. of you per, at all, but it's just that. The greatest just people have to are different do, and you know, to support you. There's to get to your question, absolutely, absolutely of course, I'm very happy. You can be who I am. You know, and I love being a woman. Sure they better. do not fall well, into the Instagram community time. as not being existent. So, so there you go. And you know that it's hard to find people that in order in order to win your heart, the perfect man feels as though he has to be a certain way to be with you. So, what kind of man will be perfect to make you happy to win your heart? to be with you to be decent to be cool to be cute <laughs> to be um <laughs> to be you know just kind of civilized and just treat me treat me with respect and treat me with compassion and be my friend as well you know and i like romantic you know i like romantic dinners i like you know, candlelight, blah, 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 blah. And I like flowers and, you know, things like that. But it's just that person's got to be, like, really your buddy, your best friend, your partner, and your great lover. And, you know, and, you know, just be cool. Just be all right. Just be, like, you know, don't be uptight, not be nasty, not be, you know, try too hard, even though it, sometimes you can't help it. And don't be a jerk. You know, I just want somebody who's just wonderful, you know, and, and cool. I don't, that, my idea of a perfect man is just, just a guy who's just himself and, you know, likes to have a good time and enjoys your company and is crazy about you and blah, 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 blah. It's not like, you know, nasty or abusive or a creep or, a, you know, or cheating on somebody, or with, cheating on you with somebody else or blah, blah, blah. But, uh, anyway, so my perfect man, also, if you want to know my perfect man, if you ever see a, a doc, a doctor show called <laughs> Dr. Evan, ooh, mama. <laughs> so, so yeah. let me ask um, you the last question. Okay. Does race have to be a do have to be a certain ethnicity in order to be with you? Like, does race matter? Does the height matter? Do you know? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> race is not important to me. I like everyone. Okay. You know, but, I like everyone. I just I acknowledge who you are. I obviously, but I I just like people. You know, okay. I don't have like any qualms. If, you know, I, I like people. I like. It doesn't matter what what color you, you know, what race you are. I think it's great. Okay. You know.
So you have no type. You have to be with each other, that's that. Okay. So you have no type, right? Huh? I have no no preference. There you go. So you're equal opportunity poor, which is wonderful. (laughs) What? I said you're equal, you're equal opportunity employer. In other words, you date anybody who treats you with respect. Oh yeah, sure. Well, my sister, that <laughs> is the la- that is the last question, mm-hmm. and you are finished. And I want to okay. thank you. Oh, you're welcome. That was fun. I'm sorry, you get a little last of day school time. So yeah, that was fun. Thank you so much. And thank you for coming on. She speaks and. <laughs> The let to try to help to get the girls, you know, the best way of different things. And I'm glad you share your experience and stuff. Because basically, you're going to be helping another girl that's going to compare her notes. Because, you know, we love to compare. And you're going to help another girl in her truth. Yeah. And I like doing that. I've helped a girl once. So I was really happy about that. And, you know, she came out. So yeah, oh, okay. I love doing that. I want oh. people to be happy with their lives, you know. And especially in our community, you know. So thank you, my sister, for coming on She Speaks and sharing your experience. Thank you, lady. Thank you so much. Okay, you have a blessed day. Thank you. And if you want to be on She Speaks, hit me up at ravenovayahoo.com. And of course, you see, it's pretty easy. The questions are not hard. But remember one thing. There are a lot of girls that's having problems in their transition and really don't know where to go to or get an idea. So these beautiful women have taken out their time to share their stories and things they've been through. And they're helping. So I thank all the girls that come on. I thank the girls that have come forward. If you're a transgender woman and you want to share your story to try to help our sisters from being murdered and you're livelihood and what you've been through or your experience remember everything you've been through is a testimony for someone else so don't never think that what you're sharing is not going to help another girl every girl is different like i said before like this video share this video if we can at the top there's an instagram button if you follow me i'll follow you back let you i love you and thank you for watching catch the week